Hey Plant Fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle and if you're not new here, thank you for coming back. So, assuming you read the title before you clicked on this video, this is not a plant video, but it's an unboxing. And I don't know about you guys, I love a good unboxing video. And I know that a lot of you are also into crystals and collecting rocks. <laughs> so I thought it would be fun to unbox this with you guys. I was in a live auction with a company called the Crystal Council. They're located in Las Vegas and um they had some really good deals on some really nice stuff so you guys know i love a live auction i bought stuff okay I, bu I bought stuff and it's my first time ordering from them so obviously i wanted to unbox and review it with you guys in case you wanted to come and check out a crystal auction as well as our usual plant auctions that you know <laughs> i love so Here is my box, and I'm really excited to see these in person. They looked absolutely gorgeous, obviously, in the live, but I have my ring light on today specifically, even though I don't really need it, so that you can, like, see the sparkle in these a little bit better, hopefully. So, box. We've got the invoice. I will be very transparent with you guys about how much I paid and what I think of like their customer service and all of that. But I want to get to these first. So we've got ooh, one big one and two smaller ones. One is like a mystery surprise gift thingamabob. But um, this first one, let's see if the names are on here because yeah, yeah. I'm not the best at remembering. I also thought it would be fun to maybe show you the other crystals that I have in my collection when we're done opening these up since it won't take us very long. That was a terrible sound. You can see how sparkly it is already. Oh, wow. Ooh, girl, you pretty. Holy moly, look at how sparkly that is. Yes, this was a good choice, um, putting on the ring light for sure. Look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys. So this is a big old raw chunk of, it's called Aura Quartz. I'm a big fan of quartz crystals and I love a good raw crystal. Look at the sparkle. Oh wow. It almost looks iridescent. That is so beautiful. Wow. And I like that I can like just put this one up on the shelf. I am always looking for pieces that can be easily displayed without needing any kind of like stand. So, wow, she is gorgeous. And this one was 75. So I thought it was a steal because usually I see stuff like this going for like much more in the stores, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not very like savvy <laughs> on like what these are supposed to cost. And this is the most I've ever spent on, on one before. I think I spent like 30 bucks on one at one point in time, but oh my goodness, that is so gorgeous. Okay. Let's open the next one because the next one is also a different type of quartz, but it is an amethyst spirit quartz whatever that means. I just really like amethyst. It's one of my favorites. And obviously I just told you I love quartz. So when I saw this one, I couldn't help myself. It was just really pretty. Packaged really well, lots of bubble wrap. Kind of necessary with these. And okay, it's like in there. Oh, it's in like a bag. Derp. Oh wow, that's really pretty. Another raw cut. Um, amethyst spirit quartz. I don't know what that means, but again, just like a nice raw cut, gorgeous crystal. Look at the sparkle. 
on that. Wow, you guys. That is also going to look absolutely stunning. Sitting on my shelf. I'm always looking for a nice raw amethyst. I want to get like a really big uh, one one day, but they're expensive. So someday. And I'm really picky, so I like being able to pick my own. I don't love just like... I couldn't see myself buying something off of a website without knowing exactly like what I was getting. So something I did notice about their website that I'll leave linked below for you guys that I liked was that they do show you the actual photo of different ones. Obviously, if they're all kind of the same, like that's not a thing. But for like a big chunk like this, if they had like four or five of them, they would all be listed separately so that you could pick which one you wanted, which I think is really cool. And I try to do that on my website as well when I have plants that are looking different from each other. If they all look the same, then I list them up as a grower's choice. But I think it's fun, especially with Hoyas, <laughs> to be able to pick your own plant. So gorgeous, absolutely love it. And then we are going to open up the last one while I tell you about their customer service. So I had an issue checking out. It's like a whole big thing. And they were so sweet. I reached out to them and I was like, hey, like what's going on? Because they sent me the invoice and I was having a hard time. Ooh, cute. This one is Amaz Amazonite. Amazonite? Amazonite. I don't know, but it's blue. And I was just thinking that I needed some more blue. I have a lot of pinks and purples in my collection. I can show you guys. But I was just thinking that I needed some more blue stones. So not mad at this. I'm sure I can find a way to display it sitting up like that. And it'll be really cute. Thank you, guys. This is a free... I think they call it a free... Um, new user crystal. So, like, if you're ordering for the first time you get a free one. So there's that. My order was prepared by Julie. Thank you, Julie. <laughs> it's very sweet. So they did work with me and they were like, just send us your address and we'll like do the order for you. And I was like, that's so nice of you. So there was a bit of an issue and they were really quick and really sweet when resolving it. So really nice products and really great customer service. Oh, and the Amethyst Spirit Quartz was $30. I love the colors on here. If you guys didn't guess, I love pinks and purples and um, blues even, but obviously purple. Purple is my favorite and like the right shade of pink as well. It's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so that is my order from the Crystal Council. Again, I will leave them linked below for you guys to check out their website as well as their Instagram. They do uh, Instagram lives like almost every day. I feel like I see them on there all the time. Really, really nice people that own the company. You can go on their website and read all about them. And um, yeah, I mean, like I'm, I'm happy. So there's that. Let's go into the bedroom. I'm going to find a place to put these and then I'm going to give you a quick little tour of what I have and I'll tell you the names of the ones that I do know but I don't know all of them so maybe you could help me identify them if you are better at this I'm still learning I just think they're really pretty so I've been collecting them for a while just not like avidly and I'm um, definitely getting into it more now because I have the space and the shelves and I just love the way that crystals look with my plants. It's like they're meant for each other. So highly recommend. Anyway, let's go check out the rest of them. All right. Well, this is probably the cutest thing in the bedroom. Hi, baby. He's so sleepy. Look at his big belly. Okay. Well, there's your dose of crusher pants. <laughs> I love you. You're so cute. I can't stand it. He's like, get away from me, I'm napping. Okay, enjoy your nap. All right, so here is what I'm currently looking at. I'm probably gonna rearrange this like 500 times, but it's fine. That's just kind of what I do, but I like to put things somewhere to start with. 
and I put the aura quartz right here. I've got the light bouncing off of it from the grow light here. Not really doing it justice over here, but you guys saw it um, the other way around. Maybe the natural light. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, you guys, that is so beautiful. It is like insanely gorgeous. So, I'm um, just keeping it here for now. I'll probably move it. I just don't know where else to put it because it is a big piece. And then next to it, I have this little triangle of amethyst that I've had for a long time. I guess this is like also a quartz crystal. Like, I genuinely don't know. And then this one I picked up recently. It was pretty cheap, but I liked the peachy color and like the fact that it's just raw but it's still nice and clean. I don't like dirty crystals. Like, I like for them to still look clean, even though they're raw. So, there's that. I picked this one up, and I do still have the card for it, I think, over here. Um, still bite. Whatever that means. Soft and delicate crystal resonates with the vibration of universal love, helping to open up the heart and overcome fear and loss. Its calming influence brings inner peace and expands consciousness in meditation. So that was the little piece of information that came with that one. And um, I just think it's really pretty. It was like 12 bucks. It really wasn't anything crazy, but I thought it was really pretty. And I liked the, uh, the meaning of it. It's nice. So that one hangs out there looking cute with my Monstera Peru, and then over here are probably some of my favorites, my Hoya Ellipticas, chilling here with my butterfly frame, and next to it I have this pink amethyst geode that I picked up at uh, TAJ Tropicals and Trinkets in Worcester, Massachusetts, super cute, and I love a good geode especially one that can sit up on its own. And I just liked the color. thought it was really pretty. The lighting in here today is terrible. It's not a very sunny day, unfortunate. Unfortunately, <laughs> I can talk. Everything's fine. So not really doing these much justice. And then I put the Amethyst Spirit Quartz next to it here. I thought it looked cute. Um, I might move it. I don't know. I try not to have too many in one place, but I really like these ones. And then this is my, um, I forget. Just some, so, oh, here, Crystal Geode. <laughs> it was $24. Uh, I got this at a local shop in, um, I forget what town. And I forget the name of the place, too. But uh, it's the same place I got that other peachy colored one from. And I just really liked the way this one was cut into this shape, but it still looks raw, which is really cool. And I just, I really like quartz, apparently. So there's that. And then this here is a stone that I don't remember the name of, but I have the other half of it down here. And what's cool about these is that each one, when they crack them open, has a different design on the inside. So I can't do it with one hand very well, but these are two halves of the same stone. The lady told me, and it's in a video, because I got this um, at one of the pop-ups at Paul's and Sandy's. But you could see the pieces fit together. So when they crack it open, you got a unique design inside each one. This one looked like a sun. And I liked that this one had a flat end to sit up. So I got lucky with that one. And I just thought it was really pretty. Really pretty. <laughs> this one doesn't have a flat end. So I leave it down here. So that it is still like facing up on like, the bottom shelf. But we will get there. Um, that is it. Just another little piece of some sort of also quartz probably just hanging out there. I've had that one for literally forever. These ones are newer. Um, and then another piece of amethyst that I've had literally just forever. I always was drawn to this one because it's half, it's like half and half, half dark purple, half light purple. And I've always liked it. I've carried this one with me for years. And 
I'm a big believer in like the crystals kind of pick you. Like I'm usually drawn to certain ones and there's some you just, I don't know, have a connection with. And this is one for me that I've had for a long, long time. So just hangs out over here because it's not really anything super special to look at, but it is special to me with my little, my fr my little friend, Marty. It's fine. Everything's fine. So then down here, I put this Amazon Amazonite that they sent me looking really cute. I'll probably move it, but honestly, I like the pop of blue here. And then this is one that I picked up at Seed to Stem in Worcester, Massachusetts. And it's probably my favorite, to be completely honest with you, just because of the the shape of it and the color and the way the crystals have grown. I don't know what type of crystal this is exactly, probably similar to the other ones that I have since they all kind of look pretty similar, um, but it's gorgeous. I absolutely love this one. So she hangs out here where I can see how sparkly and gorgeous she is. And then I just have, I don't love a polished stone if you haven't picked up on that. Um, but I do like these pyramids and I think the spheres are really cool too, but, um, and the towers, the towers are pretty cool, but otherwise I'm not really a, usually a big fan. I like a more raw cut crystal. I've been collecting rocks since I was a kid, so I've kind of always been a nerd for nature, but this opalite sphere I just thought was really pretty. This is one of my favorite stones. I like the way it captures the light with the blues and the pinks and purples. So always looking for like a bigger one of this, but nobody ever has it. So that is that. And a cute little air plants. I do have another polished stone here that was gifted to me. Don't know what it is. So we just keep it here. And then this one. This one is really cool because... It naturally forms like this and I forget the name of these I'm gonna have to look it up and put it on the screen I used to have a piece of paper somewhere that explained it but um I picked this up at a random shop when we were like traveling somewhere and they have like a male and female one and I don't know something about it I was just drawn to and I needed it so I bought it it's kind of got this UFO shape and um yeah, I, I'll figure out what it is. I forget, and I'll put the name on the screen, and you can look into it. It's pretty cool. So, there's that one. That one just hangs out here because it's not necessarily, like, aesthetically pleasing. It kind of just looks like a meteor, but it's cool. I dug its energy, so I bought it. And then down here, again, just, like, some some raw crystal that somebody sent me. Not the prettiest looking one, but it's okay. So we keep it over here. Um, a little dragonfly, <laughs> the other half of this. And then this one I got at the same shop, which was, um, I was drawn to because I'd never seen one before. And it also has like some sort of meaning and a name and all those things that I don't remember that I really should start like writing down or something. So there's that. I can try to look it up unless you know what it is. Then, uh, you know, help us it's her out. Another polished stone here that was probably gifted to me. So, um, I think that's it. I'm pretty sure that's everything that I have. Now I have this little mushroom up here just because you guys know I love mushrooms and it was cheap. It's $4. So <laughs> a little mushroom that hangs out up here with my skull doing some yoga and uh that's it I mean you can see why I love them I feel like they really fit in with my vibe I also have this rock up here that I don't believe has a name it's just it's actually David's that he found hi there's a truck outside honking um, he found this, I forget where, and he was drawn to it just because it was really round. And it is really pretty, if, if it would focus. So I keep that up here too, because it's cute. But that's it. 
for uh, everything that I've got going on in here. I don't know why it's blurry, but that's fine. Okay fam, so I hope that you enjoyed this unboxing video and seeing the rest of my crystal collection. I know that a few of you did want to see it, so at least a few of you are going to watch this video, right? Um, if you guys like this, we can do it again. We can, um, you know, do some more unboxings and go crystal shopping because I do want to go to another shop in Worcester that I have a gift card to so I can take you guys crystal shopping with me if you want to do that in a video together. Um, just let me know in the comments below and let me know if you have them in your collection, if you were inspired to get some now after watching this, or uh, just say hi because I like chatting with you. So I appreciate you so, so very much, fam. You should definitely give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed hanging out with me. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. And there's a join button if you want to be part of the official plant fam. Get some extra perks, some extra content, new stuff coming for members this year for sure. And uh, it's just a really great way to support my channel as well. If not, there is a super thanks button if you guys want to super thanks me. Everything is appreciated. I literally cannot do this without you guys. You know that I love you. And um, I hope I see you in the next one. Bye.